Tonight, breaking news. Police have identified two men wanted for a deadly assault at a South Philly staple, facing charges of murder and assault in the attack at Pat's King of Steaks. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Shayna Humphreys. Tonight, police are still looking for all four wanted men. All right, Dave, can you fill us in? Yeah, good evening to you. There's been, of course, so much buzz with this case ever since people saw that very, very graphic video of this incident tonight. Many people here in South Philly are just glad there is some momentum in trying to solve this case. Tonight, Philadelphia police issuing two arrest warrants in connection to the vicious, deadly beating of a man at Pat's Stakes last week. You know, hopefully they get brought to justice, you know, and the courts will take care of itself. 34-year-old Osvaldo Willie Pedraza and 32-year-old Victor Pedraza are both facing numerous murder and assault charges. To see that, what happened, and how visual it was um, to be caught on video is just um, horrible. Pat's own surveillance cameras captured the extremely graphic beating of three men outside the popular cheesesteak attraction. The hard-to-watch video shows the melee starting with punches, the beating continuing even as the victims tried to get up. 28-year-old Ysidro Cortez of Queens, New York, died on scene. His 64-year-old father and another 28-year-old man also suffered major injuries. One of the victims even attacked with a trash can lid. It's scary. We have children around here. Uh, it's a good neighborhood. It's, it's supposed to be the, uh, the spot coming to Philadelphia. Mike Lopez is one of many happy to see the warrants issued. You know, those couple guys, like you just said, the two warrants, probably going to spend a good portion of their life in, in prison, kids, you know, who knows. So uh, it's just a bad, bad situation all the way around. So Philadelphia police looking for four people total. Speaking of police, one thing we did notice an increased presence here. Investigators did say they're going to dedicate an officer and a patrol vehicle here at this site. And we did see a police car circling this area as everyone here wants to get back to normal. Jason. Dave Kinchin in South Philly. Thank you, Dave. And develop